So, I should be selling bikes, American big bikes, but I guess it's fate that here I am selling pizza instead. I guess it started in Japan because I taught English for about two and a half years and towards uh, towards the second year I was talking to my girlfriend and I was asking what can I do I'm getting bored because I lived in the I lived in the prov province part of the city that I, I lived in Hamamatsu so I would ask her and what can I find a new hobby or something I can do on my own and then we came up with pizza because it's my favorite food right um, so I did the research uh, I didn't have an oven so the first pizza I made was uh, skillet skillet pizza so I bought the ingredients, bought a skillet, and then one night I I had a Skype session with my girlfriend, and then we tried to make the pizza, and then eventually Mon said, like, "Hey, is that smoke?" And then I look over and then it's smoking already, and then the alarm came off. I almost burned down my apartment with the first pizza I made, and those pizzas won't lie, they looked very bad. They were in a circle. Some were like football shaped, oblong. Some had this weird, uh, you know, ditto from Pokemon. They looked like that. It was pale. The pepperoni was, it didn't look cooked. Well, it was a long, it was a long way from what it is now. I was able to save a bit and I got an oven. So back in the Philippines, I got an oven. So every time I'd go home for summer vacation, winter, spring, I'd cook for family and friends. And from there, Gradually, from an oblong, it eventually moved into a circle shape. And we were able to get good pizza, so we just kept uh, practicing, actually. And that's how I started to cook pizza. So yeah, um, uh, one of the customers who dined in is Tito Seds. So he likes to video um, like small stores do food prep and then he usually posts them on reddit and there's a lot of uh, likes like 5100 likes but um, it's the internet so there's always gonna be haters so there was this one who was saying uh, why are we cutting the pizza in a in a metal peel so they were mad about that and then another one like here was quoting the sauce game looked weak <laughs> So yeah, a lot of people are getting mad and there was another one that was saying like the pizza was ruined because we have this thing called the garlic dip and a lot of people like it. Reddit doesn't like it. <laughs> they're, they're, they're very harsh on Reddit. But I guess that's the internet. See, the tomato sauce looked crappier than Domino's. Jeez, <laughs> everyone's so mad. So that, yeah. What would you say that uh, if you have haters, you're doing something right? I guess, I mean, hey, at least uh, bad publicity is still publicity, so we'll take it, we'll take it then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I should be selling bikes, American big bikes, but I guess it's fate that here I am selling pizza instead. So towards December 2019, I kind of wanted to go home and try to start life back in the Philippines. So I went home Christmas season, spent Christmas with family, friends, Monica, my girlfriend. But after a while, since I didn't have a job and I was just like enjoying it and everything, my mom starts hammering it in saying, hey, get a job, get a job. Stop mooching and I'm like, oh no. Sometime around uh, Feb, I was able to get an interview with one of the big American motorcycles, uh, motorcycle companies in the Philippines. I was set on selling 
American motorcycles, American big bikes. And then, unfortunately, uh, come March, pandemic happened on my first day of work. I come to work and then the general manager calls and says, okay, everyone go home. It's the start of the lockdown, await for the instructions. So it's sad because they really just left me afloat for more than six months. They just left me afloat. They didn't know what to do with me. So eventually uh, I thought like, what could I do? I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting gas going there every time. Nothing's really happening. One of my friends uh, said, do you wanna try to make pizza and sell it? And I'm like, yeah, um, let's see how that goes. Um, so actually this is how it all kicked off. I posted it online uh, and then BF Home Sarap, that's one of the Facebook groups now. It's I think 35,000 members or so. And then I just posted, so hey, I make pizza on the weekends for my family, my friends. Um, I usually make seven, six to seven pies, and then four of that goes to my family. So I have about three to four to sell left over. Does anyone want to take them? And then bam, and then the comments just go ta -ta 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 So many comments, and then people are like, hey, we want to try that, it's homemade. And then that's where it kicked off, and there was a lot of comments, and then I had to backlog everything for about two weeks. I was just catching up to everyone who wanted to order pizza. And that's how we did it for a year. We kept selling pizzas in, in our house. That was hard for me compared now. So from there, we did that for about a year. That's how this whole thing kicked off. I have a pizza joke. Um, I, we made a pineapple pizza, but it got burnt. I think we should cook it in Aloha temperature. <laughs> so bad, I'm sorry. Did it get you? Did it get you though? <laughs> Aloha temperature, get it? Mahalo. <laughs> That's about it. I'm done. I'd say Luigi's is founded on community. Like I really want to get to know the people who I'm serving pizza. So usually if they tell me something about them or tell me about their day or like talk about pizza, I'm more than open to, to talk with them to get to know these people like every time they walk in the store oh hey how are you how's your dog or where what have you been up to it's something like that it's something that you don't get in a regular pizza place so everyone i work with is someone who is close to me who works for our family family friends um everyone in the shop it's pretty much family so that's what keeps our business running and i guess we should be treating the customers like family so every time they come over, it's like a safe place to go, to hang out, to be stressed. After you ride your bike, this is where you go for that post-carb uh, session. So I want that for what Luigi's is. I want it to be something driven by the community. So I guess to summarize it, Luigi's is a community more than a pizza place.